Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This is your boy Dinark. Today I'm bringing you a new video on um, how will Case Keenum do for the Denver Broncos as he did sign a two year contract with them. And he is quote unquote the journeyman besides Sam Bradford. And he got this contract basically because he ate with the Vikings after Sam Bradford got injured in week one and led them to the NFC Championship, which is actually really good for a backup QB. Well, I mean for one of the backup QBs because that was originally Teddy B's team. But. As you can see, he's on the Broncos. This is what he's working with. Not too bad. I didn't make any moves on his team, so everything has stayed the same. So offensive line is kind of bad. I mean, it's kind of, it's like, okay, at best. And then tight end core is not too bad. Got some good receivers here. Pretty good receivers here. We got a good running back. We got Paxton Lynch backing him up. Yeah, Andy Janowitz. Defense could definitely do some things. Definitely a carry. Because we got a great set of linebackers, great set of D-line. And we still got Chris Harris Jr. and Bradley Roby. So they could obviously still do something. But before we start the video, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed that last video I uploaded. So it almost has uh, about 500 views as I'm recording this. Thank you guys for the support on that. And um, if you guys want to wager me, as I saw one person comment that they want to wager me, let me know. Uh, my gamer tag is Crystal World, Crystal Space World with a zero, W zero R L D. So just let me know, message me on there. If you want to wager, I'm down for anything. But let's get into this. So we're kit. So we got Case Keenum here, 82 overall, 29 years old, pocket passer, 85 awareness, 70 deep accuracy, 82 medium, 88 short accuracy, 88 throw power, 82 throw on run, 87 play action, 80 speed, and he's a pocket passer. So those are pretty good stats. So let's start our season seasonal goals. So let's say let's say we get about 10 wins. Uh, let's look for 11 wins because we got Case Keenum leading this pack. So, first game is against the Chargers, who have a nice secondary and still have Phillip Rivers, so let's see how we do against them. I wish we could sort of do like some sim cast kind of thing like they do in, um, in uh, 2K, but we went 0-1. We lost that. We lost our first game. Okay, what was the score? 27-10. So, we only put up 10 points. Okay, so Case Game didn't have too good of a game. Yeah. So, he had a rushing TD, at least. But he didn't have too good of a game, so we're only one to start off the season. That's okay. That's that's okay. Next week is against the Cowboys. And we are 0-2. We are the week two AFC offensive player of the week. A week to remember. How's this a week? Oh, we lost by one point to the Cowboys. Oh, okay. Because I was about to say, how how's this a week to remember? He went from having 83 passing yards to five, 440 and two TDs. That's pretty good. That's not too bad. I like it, I like it. But uh two games in, we're 0-2. Not too not looking too good so far. Facing the one and one Bills. They have like AJ McCarron at QB. And we went 0-3. How are we struggling that much? We lost 17 to 14. Alright, we're struggling a little bit too much now. We're 0-3 now to start off. Ronald Leary got a foot fracture. Our best offensive lineman got a foot fracture. Um we got a decent backup, so I think we'll be fine. Let's send to midseason and see how we do there. Off your week by installing your game so we're three and four. Start off 0 and three. Send to midseason. Now we're three and four. Not too bad. Ronald Lear should be coming back anytime now. Um, we won 38 to 31 against the Chiefs. The Raiders are six and two in our league. Um, Case Keenum is 20th in passing yards and 10th in passing touchdowns. And we are facing the five and three Eagles. So let's see how we do. This is a good matchup compared to how the real matchup was. We won four. We actually beat them. The score was 35 to 21. So we beat the Eagles. So now we're actually moving up in the standings. So Case Keenum has and this team has a four and four record. We're about to face the Patriots. This could be a good matchup considering the fact that we're facing. Yeah, the Broncos have a better QB than they had last year when they faced the Patriots when they had Simeon. Now they have Case Keenum. We lost. I don't know. We lost by 10. Okay. Shouldn't be too surprised, to be honest. One more week facing the 3 and 6 Bengals. And we're 4 and 6. I don't know how do we lose to these trash teams. We, like, all right, kids, gonna want two new injuries. Next week. We're 4 and 6. We're about to face the 73 Raiders. Probably take a mean L. We won. How do we beat the Raiders? We, want, we we're in a shootout game, fifty-one to forty-five. Sheesh! All right, that's a shootout, cause that's definitely a shootout. So we're about to face the three and eight Dolphins. This should be an easy win. This should be an easy win. All right, we won in overtime. 
34 to 28. And about to face the four and eight Jets. Come on, it should be an easy one. See if we can run the table, man. See if we can run this table. And we lost. I don't understand how do we lose these like trash teams. We lost by three. Like, look, everyone's record is the same. That all right, we could definitely like still take the AFC. We could definitely still take it. View new injury report. All right, starting right outside linebacker got a compound foot fracture, and Shelby Harris has a hamstring tear. But this team could definitely still win. We could definitely still get up there. That that the Colts are nine and four. What? Seven and seven. Two TDs for Demarius Thomas. So if we went nine and seven, there's still a chance we can make playoffs. Because we're second. We're second in the division. See, look at everyone everyone has a chance to make the playoffs right now. Everyone in the, our division has a chance to make the playoffs. And we're facing a five and nine Redskins. We just gotta take a dub here. We just gotta take a dub here against the five and nine Redskins and we're moving chains. How do we lose? Oh my god. We lost by six to the Redskins, and we're definitely not making playoffs. We're definitely not making playoffs. And we faced the Chiefs last. We didn't make the playoffs. We were eight and eight. We didn't make it. We didn't make it. Two new injuries. We we finished eight and eight. We gave the Chiefs an L and Chargers. So we finished even. Okay, so that's better than we did last year. Two new injuries though. What happened to Case Keenum? Quad tear after seven weeks. Devontae Booker shoulder tear after three weeks. So what Case Keenum did, they had a chance of winning the playoffs, but everyone in the playoffs was uh, just neck and neck. So they finished eight and eight. Um, no one really got an XP boost on offense. Defensively, Bradley Roby got a boost. That's about it. Okay. Let's check out how we did statistically. How Case Keenum did statistically. He had three point. Oh, he had three thousand nine hundred ninety-one yards, thirty-four touchdowns, six interceptions. What? That's a great year. 34 TDs and only six interceptions. That's nice. Rushing. Carl, uh, CJ Anderson almost had 1,000 yards, which is pretty good. And he had four rushing TDs also. He had 40 total TDs and six interceptions. Receiving. Demarius Thomas had 11 TDs and 1,320 yards. Daniel Sanders had eight TDs, along with Carl Sanderson having eight TDs. So that's really good also. Wow. I'm actually very surprised. Blocking. Defense. See who ate defensively for us. Tom Davis led us in tackles. Von Miller had 12 and a half sacks, obviously. Six interceptions for Chris Harris Jr. So that's the reason why we went eight and eight. That's not too bad at all. So let's check out everyone did statistically. Aaron Rodgers with most passing yards. Okay. Brady had nine interceptions. What? Aaron Rodgers had 48 TDs. Well, second was Matt Ryan with 42. Browns. Okay. Browns might have been nice too. Most interceptions went to Phillip Rivers with 24. Okay. We were 21st in offensive yards. And defensively, we were 22nd. And then as we can check the standings, as Aaron Rodgers was named MVP, Saints went 14-2, and two, best right record. Uh, Titans were 12-4, Packers went 12-4, Cowboys went 12-4, Falcons were 10-6, Steelers went 10-6, Vikings were 10-6, Jaguars were 10-6, Colts somehow went 10-6, Patriots somehow made the playoffs go 9-7, same thing with Chiefs, and Rams made the playoffs going 8-8. Eight and eight. That's just crazy. But I think they might have been the best team in their thing. Yeah, they were the best team. They went 8-8. Eight eight. So that's pretty crazy. But hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, and comment down below what else you'd like to see on the channel. This is your boy, Jnark. And you always got to remember, you got to be a fiend to succeed. Peace.